Hi, here you are. My name is Brian Noto, and we've got the hood open on the Mini Cooper, which can mean nothing but trouble. I guess we're going to have to start yanking all of the uh, internal combustion engine components out. I'm going to try to start from the top today. BMW Mini Cooper has uh, a set guideline in terms of order you're supposed to do this. However, a lot of this is not going back in again. So we're just going to start ripping away from the top uh, and start taking the, the engine out. We've got a lot of uh, items that we have to be very careful about, not because we're going to damage them at all, so we're going to take the engine transmission out in one complete piece. Primarily, it's the wiring, uh, any hoses, air conditioning hoses, the heater hoses. We're going to be using all of that again. We're going to be putting in new components, a electric a compressor, not one that's draw, driven off of the engine for the air conditioning. We're going to put an electric heater that's going to heat our uh, boiler, that's going to heat our water for our climate control as well. So we're going to be using a lot of that, uh, possibly even the radiator. Our, uh, our electric motor is uh, water cooled. So we're going to go ahead and use a lot of this. Be careful. Also about the wiring. Uh, there's wires here that we may or may not use again. We're not sure. Once we've taken them off, we'd have a hard time identifying them, which were the, you know, the cam angle sensor gauges or what went where. Vacuum won't be too bad, there's only one, and we're gonna to have to put in a vacuum pump to fill our uh, brake reservoir, or our, excuse me, our, um, our pump, our boost pump for our uh, master cylinder. So let's take a look a little closer at some of the items that we're going to be uh, dealing with today and uh, get a couple wrenches out and see what we can do. So here we are, we've got a little tighter shot on the engine compartment for you here before we start spinning wrenches just to let you see what we're up against. Again, here are these, these wires, they're all over the engine, a lot of plugs and sensors in here uh, that we're going to have to disconnect again and label, very important. Um, we're going to start again with the top, we're going to take off the, uh, the breather, we're going to take a look at these, uh, at the connections here, there's uh, one big wiring limb with three connectors here. This is the fuse box, again we talked about the vacuum, this is what we're going to end up replacing with a, uh, with a vacuum pump. We've got our, uh, our ignition coils under this hatch right here on top. So we're just gonna go through there and uh, start taking things apart and we'll give you, give you an idea of what we're doing. Now that you've taken a look at the overview of the engine, let's get a little more detailed and take a look at some of the steps that BMW recommends in terms of removing the engine. We're gonna be able to do uh, some work here from the top and that's what we'll take a look at today. We're going to remove the air cleaner, we're gonna look at the wiring harness, fuse box, you can see up here that we have the uh, coolant, the windshield washer reservoir, and there's some other items under here too. The other thing is that we really got to be careful about labeling all of these wiring harnesses and these connections that we have. As you can see here, we've got a couple of connections here. We happen to know that those are for the, uh, uh, for the cam angle. Uh, we've got an air sensor here. We've got a vacuum uh, hose that we're going to have to take off. This is the vacuum generator that uh, gives us our brake booster. So we've got a few things here that we're going to need to take off. So let's go ahead and, and spin some wrenches and see what, uh, see what we can find. First thing we're going to go ahead and do here is, uh, is remove the cover for the DME. This is basically the, uh, the engine management control. This is the brains, the computer system for the, uh, for the Mini. 10 millimeter wrench, real simple. We're just going to go ahead and unscrew this. One can, one, uh, one bolt here. I'm going to go ahead and lift this off. Again, we don't want to break anything. It's a little tricky. Good. We've got that off and that's going to go ahead and reveal for us our, uh, our connectors. They're actually simpler than they look to take off. There's a, a little detente here, a little, little pin. You just push down. We'll go ahead and release that. Push it all the way back. That'll go ahead and lift that connector or release it until we can lift that connector off. Got two more of those right here. Again, the same thing. Just push it, keep pushing it down. It'll unlock. Take that off. Again, one more. Down until it locks. And we go ahead and release that. And we have taken out, or at least disconnected, the, uh, the control unit for the engine. We're gonna go ahead and remove the uh, intake filter housing here. There's a 10 millimeter bolt uh, that we're just gonna have to take off. Uh, no big pressure on it. Go ahead and spin that out of there. And 
we've got that. Uh, next part of this is to go ahead and release this duct uh, coming in, the intake duct, from this, from the filter body. Then we're going to go ahead and with a little rotation upward, we're going to take the duct off of the uh, resonance body. Let's see how much that takes. And we've got it. Now we All right, now we're going to go ahead and take a, take a peek one step further into the, uh, into the Mini. We're going to take off the front of this uh, intake into the air box where it sucks the air in from the front of the car. And now we can, we can see some new items in here. Now we're down to the point. You've seen a couple of things come off. We mentioned that we're going to be labeling some of these wires. There's a couple of things actually that we're going to do, uh, which I think will, will probably save us in the, in the long run. Uh, one is we're going to put labels on these wires. We're going to, in a second, we're going to do the uh, ignition control, the DME here, uh, label it one, two, three. There's another one underneath it, for instance, that you know, we're not quite sure. What, what that one uh, is doing, where it goes. So we're going to label that as an unknown. And we're going to go ahead and take pictures of all of these as well with the digital camera. That way, if we need, and we've got uh, BMW specialists who are going to be helping us with the uh, adapter plate to adapt our electric motor to the uh, Getrag transmission. You know, there's other people out there that, that'll know these wires in these locations. We could always attach a photo, send them an email, we'll know where this wire was, we don't know exactly what it does, and we should be able to get some help if we need to use that wire or something isn't quite working. So, no big deal. We're just gonna go ahead and put these on like this. Uh, we make, made them with a regular label maker, and uh, that'll be that. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and remove the cover for the uh, ignition coils. We've got a number th a 30, a T30 Torx wrench. We're gonna go ahead and Take that off. And go ahead and do the other side. Got a few, a few clips that we'll have to do down here. It's just real simple with a screwdriver. We've got a couple of, uh, a couple of items here to pop this out, this cover out. There we go down here and see if we get this one and we're off now there's our ignition coils now we're going to go ahead and mark those again with our uh, with our labels we're just going to mark them from uh, uh, from right to left here one two three and four again these items we know where they came from there's only one place that they're going to plug back in but we're we just don't want to take any chances and we've also got an unknown down here as well so we're going to go ahead and uh, Label all of those, and then we'll show you how to uh, how to remove them. Okay, remove uh, just with a again a little little clip, a little detente in there. I know all this might seem kind of silly to uh, to be doing all this. We hope that it is and that it's uh, it's overkill, but. We have uh, found with this project and most projects that uh, at some point in time you can't go back. It's uh, better to be safe than sorry. And being organized is, uh, is I guess, just uh, one of our faults here. So we've got all those. We've also got uh, an unknown that will mark, but this is it. I'm gonna show you here how we release these. Um, we pull these up, again just lock it out, slide our uh, connectors out for the, uh, for the ignition coils. So there we go, kind of jacks it out of there, and there we go. So now we've got our wires, one, two, three, and four. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take off the resonance body that's this uh, piece right here there's a connector there's a 10 millimeter and there's a, a hose clamp with a 7 millimeter so let's go ahead and pull this off because again what we really want to do is, is look at this engine and remove as many big pieces as we can so that we can see some of the other things especially electrical connections so that we see them and so that we can mark them first thing we're going to go